Look at this roster on the envious side. We have franchise Soto Praise and Toy Soldier, and on the orbit side, we have Prison, Wildebeest, Secret, and Inertia. And so these teams, uh, you know, once again, this is going to be a good one. This is the battle for pride here on the orbit side. Uh, PR, take us off. All right, we're going to see. It looks like orbit is actually going to run a three down low. So you're going to see them be more of the aggressors this round as they quickly grab bow and actually going to back up towards their high side. And while they're giving up nades, you're going to see them rotate that bow and use the sniper with it as a smoke going out high side. You see franchise hiding in the corner with the nades. For those of you guys out there that don't know, Franchise is in a very good position to use these nades. No one can really move up high side into the connector as long as Franchise holds those nades. Yeah, exactly. What both teams did uh, to start the round off, they used their numbers to get control of Torque Bow and nades to start the round off, and then they rotated back to pick up snipes. Uh, so that's why we got we got Torque Bow on the orbit side, we got nades on the envious side, and then both teams have snipes as well. Prison trying to throw some back A's right here. He sees Praise. He's going to pop this bow off. He's not going to connect with it. He's a guy on me bridge he's revving and he's trying to see if he can sneak a shot here not able to curve that just enough to kind of connect that guy praises here on the defense uh nades are going to be thrown out here soon we see all these orbit members they're running back they look like they was going to commit to that push but they said you know what retreat this isn't what we want they, they had the torque bow there was a really good opportunity to push into there but i don't know exactly what they saw somebody's moving down towards underneath maybe going for a flank maybe trying to bait a headshot for a secret as you see him miss two very close snipe headshots on the opposing member of mb as he gets the sniper pickup yeah, he gets a sniper pickup, and he's going to be looking for Secret. So both these guys aren't covering the back wall. They're going to be open. Secret's going to miss that shot. Solo's going to down prison on the mid-bridge. They're going to clean that one up. They're engaged in another fight. Secret's trying to help his teammates. But once again, Inertia and, uh, Inertia and Woody, they're going to go down to Toy Soldier and Soto. And the last headshot right there, Bat Franchise. And he's going to take out Secret there in the high side. Uh, good job there, Bat Envious, winning that in the late round. Even though Franchise didn't, a, or didn't get any kills with the nades. He was able to push them out of their high side and get map control for Envious, and that's how they were able to pick up the sniper on the other side of the map. So good job by Franchise. Not able to get a kill, but he was able to bait the enemy team. Yes, he was. On board here with Praise. And Praise, he's going to be taking the low side. And he's going to hold off. He sees this guy a little bit late. He's going to toss the smoke to stop the guy's cross. And Helm and Toy, they're going to be uh, fighting this together. Praise with the pistol headshot. Good job there to Helm and Toy making that happen. Fran's going to connect with inertial mid bridge with the body shot. Allow Praise to down Helm, and that's going to be the round. I Orbit tried to push up the low side, tried to kill those guys low side, but you saw a little bit of a misroll come out by one of those members, and Praise took full advantage, getting one four-pointed, getting a headshot on the next one, and allowing Toy Soldier to go in there almost uncontested before Wildy was able to take him out. Yeah, good composure there. You know, you see uh, Praise and Toy playing so many 2v2s uh, on Twitch uh, every night, and you know, you just can see that chemistry and all that practice uh, just right here in front of our eyes. It's just paying off. On board here with Inertia. He's going to put some good shots in on Toy taking mid-bridge. Inertia's going to back out of there. Uh, looks like he wants to rotate high with the rest of his teammates. And so he, he's given up low completely. Uh, probably leaving low to uh, their sniper to watch. Uh, so him being high side, they're going to throw that smoke. We're going to see if they can actually make good use of this smoke. And uh, push high with this torque bow. Because so far we've seen them pick up torque bows. But uh, not make no plays with it. They're not going any for lob bows. They're not going for splash damage bows. So franchise right now is in a prime position to pick off people as they aren't able to move up because once again Envy has control of the bridge with frags and for those of yeah. you guys that don't know out there once one team has control mid bridge and the frags it is near impossible to make a push without a sacrifice yeah without a sacrifice like every play is almost a sacrifice but they put themselves in a difficult position to start the round uh, with their bow rotation and we got a fight here low side we're gonna see three members die instantly off the orbit side and the last member uh, is going to be trying to run away, and he gets away to the bridge, but without not without being full red here. Uh, Nurse in 1v4 situation, no respect here by Soto. And they're going to take, he's going to get down, but praise high side with the pistol, going to get that headshot. Right now, the members of Envy are taking full control of that middle bridge and just slaughtering anybody trying to contest them. As you saw, three different members of MBS getting three quick kills simultaneously. You know, the, the, the biggest detriment to this orbit team right here on this map is that they're not, they're not fighting. 
Uh, they're not getting to the fight quick enough, and they're giving Envy all every every single advantage. They got such good snipers. They're giving up the nades. They really need to fight for these nades, and Envious is gonna contest it every single time. Uh, they're gonna be doing two high, one low, one grab and snipe, and they're gonna get on mid bridge. And Nurse is gonna actually take down Praise. He pu he pushed up from the low side, and this is gonna be a good round here. Two v one. They're gonna take out his toy, and Solo goes down low side. That was good. All up to Franchise in a one v four situation, and that's exactly what we need to see from the VR. Yes, Franchise missing the first headshot, narrowly missing the second, and a one v four. This is going to be near impossible, but if anybody can do it, it's Franchise. And as I say that, Secret shuts him down. And Blaze, Orbit right now is finally showing some life. They were able to push on the middle bridge and get their first advantage of the series. I'm looking forward to Orbit doing that again in order to keep themselves into the match. You know, that's one thing is, especially like, you know, even for up-and-coming teams, when you guys are playing good teams, you can't be scared to fight, okay? Because one is, like, a, you're going to lose 100% of the fights that you don't take. Uh, you're going to miss 100% of shots that you do not take. Uh, sometimes you just got to get your butt kicked to get better. So even if it's fighting those 1v1 matchups or fighting for the... Uh, the, the, the fight mid bridge or the aggression high side and just trying to get those angles, take it. You know, this, those are things that you do in scrim and you may lose those fights to start off, but you eventually start winning them. And we see as uh, Orbit has brought, brought the fight to Envy these last two rounds, they've been matching with them. They've been coming out on top. But it's 3-3 three, three, or 3v3 three three here as Envy is able to pick up the nades. Soto has control of the connector, but Orbit does have Sniper and a Torque Bow as the smoke going out. You've seen this smoke almost every round by Orbit as they try and push up without getting sniped. And I believe that is Prison pushing up, getting stunned by the nade. This is Envy's chance to capitalize. Second nade coming out, oh. forcing them up as Toy oh. Soldier gets a huge double kill with that frag grenade, leaving Fran, or who is that? Will be in a 1v4 situation as he tries to push up make something happen the rest of team MBS uses their numbers to their advantage and completely shuts him down yeah and that nade is gonna win them the map right there envious goes up 1-0 uh, on orbit right there and so but good job to them but envious is just too strong right there as you saw um you know we saw more fight at orbit but you know don't you hate i just hate when i start seeing teams uh you know they start to figure out towards later in the rounds it's like yo if you guys would have just started off with that intensity to, in the beginning so much better um but you know as we see just multiple headshots in this map uh from fran toy and craze you know just making things happen you know soto there with pats on the back uh envious is coming out on top with this map uh, but next map is going to be War Machine. War Machine, I think this is going to be a little bit better for Orbit. But on the flip side, I think this is one of Envy's better maps. The way Toy Soldier transitions from window, he, like he took that spot from Franchise. We saw Franchise play it last season. But Toy Soldier plays that with such aggressiveness mm -hmm. and everyone knows toy soldiers mechanics are through the roof in this game so when he's able to rotate from the window to the mid box back to the window and dodge nades all at once while picking up kills i think that's where we're going to look here and envious when they take on more machine yeah you know and i, I didn't think toy was going to get that position either because fran was so good there uh but it actually it, it worked out you know praise is one of the best top players we've seen uh you know being trained by alexander i played against alexander up top and that guy is uh he's something else you know and it trans into toys gameplay and uh but franchise move from the window to the middle of the map uh to the mid sandbags which is a good position for him because he should know how to play it just from the fact that he played window you know if you play window you get harassed there enough times and you know the angles in which you hate to be shot from and you go play that middle of the, middle of the map you know just do this translate the same angles over you know uh so that works out for him right there uh but you know War Machine, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this map. I'm excited for it. You know, both teams having access to grenades, uh, and they're going to be fighting for this torque bow and uh, sniper. We're going to jump on board Soto playing that snipe position. He's throwing that smoke just to cloud the vision for the person across who's not able to shoot middle, and you see the return smoke back. Just a little bit of a Lancer fire going down as Toy Soldier gets that down on Prison. So Toy Soldier already making waves on that window as Orbit Secret takes out Franchise. Going for a double as Toy Soldier takes him out. 3v3 here as Toy Soldier gets a double kill on Prison. Soto pushing up, just trying to keep the attention from the sniper guy across from him. Soto or Praise is in a 1v1 up top. Willie needs to take that as he backs off just for a second. Praise makes him pay. And Inertia in the middle of the map rotates and gets a kill on Toy Soldier. But now he's stuck in spawn, Blaze. This is one of the worst positions you want to put yourself when you're trying to clutch your own machine. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, at a certain point, you know, I'd be asking my teammates where this next guy is. Once they told me he was at bow, I would try to push the 1v1. You know, knowing that that was one of my better options. Uh, 
even if the guy hit a lancer or not, I still would have probably tried to take that fight. Uh, but just a matter of time, they're going to be throwing nades, uh, shooting twerk balls, and they're going to be slowly pushing up on inertia. Inertia is forced to hit some of these back A's right here, and they're both going to come up those left side stairs, and they're going to take them out right there easily. Whenever you're in that 1v whatever situation, you need to constantly move around the map, split the enemy team up, and then fight your first 1v1. Fight your first advantage that you get. Otherwise, the longer you wait, the more chance they're going to get all the weapons, they're going to use their numbers, and it's just going to be 10 times harder the longer you wait to clutch your. Nah, I, I definitely agree with that. On board here with Soto, he's going to be playing a snipe position, and uh, pretty much right here, his main goal is to keep this guy's head down. Uh, even if Soto can't really hit some of the angles in the middle, as long as that guy's not hitting angles as well, so it's almost like just a mirror matchup. It's a man-to-man -man matchup. He throws smoke, you throw a smoke, he shoots, you shoot. Uh, Praise is going to be able to kill him. Will, will he mid-map? Uh, it's going to be a guy crossing over up top. Franchise is going to down prison. They're going to get the revive on prison. Secret is taking a lot of damage right there. Not able to escape that situation. 3v2 with Secret being down. Praise is up top, raining hell. Uh, and they're going to re-down. He's looking for the down on prison. Can he get it? Not able to. Uh, Soto's there. There you go. Down on Secret. And Praise is just in a prime position. And they're going to clean up those two kills. Now, Prison in a 1v2 situation, taking the first 1v1 on Soto right there, but he's full red, being forced to just think twice about his moves. And this is where you're going to see Prison try once again, try and run away, draw out his 1v1 again, because Praise and Soto reunited. And in the numbers game, as I said, the longer you wait, Praise and Soto able to just double team him and get him down. Exactly. That's why those reactions, like, just, just reacting to situations like that and moving quicker, uh... You know, you have a better chance of coming up, coming out on top because when you give teams, you just give players a lot of time to think. You give them more of an opportunity to uh, to beat you. You know, you have to make plays amidst the chaos of what goes on in the map before they can get those call outs out. Uh, on board once again with Soto. Soto throwing his smoke across the middle, and you see him look directly middle. There's a lot of angles you can get from Sniper as Prison gets the first down on Toy Soldier. Unable to pick up the kill just yet as Wildy with the grenade taking out Toy Soldier. So now it's a 4v3 advantage for Orbit GG as Soto's trying to bait somebody out, pushing up, but quickly moving back. He knows he needs to make a move as he gets the down on Inertia, but Secret down Soto right after. But the teamwork from Soto and Toy, or I believe that was fr uh, Franchise, as Secret's choosing the back up, leaving his teammate in a 1v2 situation, but he's going for a huge flank. This could be huge for Secret as Franchise gets the kill on Prison, but uh, actually a double kill on Prison and Secret, leaving Wildy all by himself at the top. He's pushing that 1v1 against Fr uh, Praise. Is he going to be able to get anything from it? Full red! Wildy just jumping right into Praise. He had no real other options right there. I think he should have pushed it a little bit sooner, but it's still a good attempt by Wildy as Envy is up 3-0 against Orbit. But Praise, all the confidence in the world. He knew he had his teammates back. You know, they're pretty much up 7-0 on these guys, and he's still... He's not taking that fight. He's got the Lancer. He's backing up. Uh, that's what champions do right there. Uh, on board here with Soto once again to start the map off. And smoke's going to come out. We're going to see a mirror smoke right here. They're trying to block their vision from crossing the middle. And they're holding off. Uh, we're going to switch over here to Secret. Secret in a fight here with Toy Soldier. <laughs> is, is Toy using General Ram right there, right? I, I, I think he's been using Ram. That's just to make a statement, I think. MBS is just... Putting it all on the line here as Praise gets the first down on Prison. As you see, Secret trying to push up and protect his teammates, not knowing where Toy's at for a moment. Toy almost surprised them, and this is where Secret's going to try and make a pay, pushing up his franchise from the middle, takes out Secret, giving MBS the 4v3 advantage. Yeah, see, that General Ram, you know, is like a silent disrespect, you know, and that's just a stigma that's built up over the years throughout Gears of War history. Uh, you know, any of those guys who rock the capes, if you're using them, you're just, just like, okay, you know, what's up? Are you playing around? You know, you playing serious? So like a little shade right there, you know, with that black cape. Uh, Envious, once again, 4-0, and they're going to go up 2-0 here uh, on Orbit. Orbit, a little bit more of a fight right there, uh, but, you know, they got some members on their team without kills right now, and they need to really pick it up in this map three. Right. Anytime you saw Orbit show a little bit of life that map, it was either Toy Soldier, Franchise, or Praise getting a kill. Not just a down, they're getting a kill and they're making their moves. That's what I like about this Envy squad. They don't play so much to react to Orbit. They play their game. They know, hey, I'm going to make this move. I am going to push this min box. I am going to throw this nade and we are going to get a kill instead of, you know, staying back, 
Hey, let Orbit push into us, and then we'll kill him. No, they are the ones being the aggressors, and that you can see it from Denial, you see it from Notorious, and you're seeing it from Envious. They are the aggressive teams, and Envious is showing that here against Orbit. Exactly, they're the alphas. They play with so much confidence, and that's why uh, they are currently the best. And so, map number three, Clock Tower. Uh, Clock Tower, uh, very team-based map right here. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these guys do a lot of three up tops. Uh, two, two, uh, two, two, two down low, two up top, just really grab nades and make plays on boom shot. Uh, but this fight is going to come down to that fight on the line. Those two guys that's firing it, the, the 2v2 at the whole spot area and, and uh, the 1v1 back pillars trying to angle each other's out, trying to angle each other out. Uh, so right here, you know, Envious, having lost a round right now, uh, you know, you almost got to say that this is going to be a clean sweep. I'm going to have to agree unless... Unless whoever's playing the back pillar for Orbit, you know as well as I do, that is a make or break spot for a team on Clock Tower. So I'm going to hopefully somebody from Orbit that is playing that back pillar can make the plays and show some life. You don't want to get 3-0'd in the very last game of the season. And that's what we're going to do is jump on board Secret. Where is he going to go? Is he moving up to that secondary position? As if to see a fourth top from Envious, a fourth top right off the rip as Orbit is full red. There's a guy in his face right away. His Toll Soldier downs franchise, prison downs his own team. Toll Soldier striking first and Prison getting a double kill. It's actually Inertia getting a kill as Prince takes him out. 2v2, 2v1 as Soto gets a kill. It was actually a headshot from the host spot. Yeah. Soto just making plays right there. Even though he wasn't across in the fight directly, he was keeping all of their heads down. He was getting them all red so Franchise and Praise can run over to the other side and clean him up with one or two shots each. One of the big things, and that's what the, the, the position you saw Carmine right there, we call it the host spot. And as you see right there, if you sit there the whole game, you have an opportunity to make plays at all times. You really should not leave that spot. You should uh, make plays in that spot. You should die in that spot. You really don't have to go anywhere. You're going to see that snipe get slapped back. Uh, it's going to get slapped back right there. And they're going to use that snipe to make a play on the boom shot. And Orbit realizes this. So they have, they're going to rotate down low. And they're going to end up dying to fight for this boom shot. And they have to because if they don't, they just uh, Envious is going to get it anyway. And they're going to win this round. That was... Like one of the quickest rotations I see. You see MB on their A game right now as Orbit Wildy gets a kill, but going down to Franchise shortly after. Or Inertia all by himself in a 1v3 situation, not able to take out Franchise. But as I was saying, that was one of the quickest rotations I've seen all season. As soon as I believe that was Toy Soldier, the Cole, got to that middle pillar, he slid snipe, backed out, and his team online, it was just instantaneously. They all backed out and went for boom shot. When you see that guy sliding backwards like that, and he does not get down. Down. Like if your teammate doesn't call out that he's gonna down him, you just need to go. Just get down low as soon as possible because any good team's gonna rotate for the boom shot and you need to push or hop in that boom pit. Either situation you kinda screw because the sniper is not gonna allow you to get boom shot at all. And they're probably gonna angle you out. But we got a few downs right here, and we're gonna see prison die as well as franchise and toy. We're gonna have orbit up a man and they're gonna push. This is turned into a 2v2 situation. We're gonna have Soto in praise versus uh Wildy and Inertia. And so Wildy's going to be in his whole spot, and he's going to wait right here. He's going to wait in the angle in case a guy tries to push up on him. Uh, and so, but they want to make a play on Wildebeest in the whole spot. We just saw Soto push right back up. You saw Praise just pre-firing down that snipe, la snipe lane. He knows see, somebody's going to go for a push or for a snipe grab. So he's just pre-firing, making sure a secret can't do that. As the smoke coming out from Soto on that host spot, you see a little bit of a, a match here, a mirror match. Two, one person on each host spot, one person on each back pillar. A secret pushing up towards that middle pillar, trying to bait something out. And Praise actually pushed up to the middle pillar on the other side, putting Secret in such a bad spot as he's taking damage from Praise, pushing up into Soto and Praise. Now it's a 1v2 situation. Wildy is all by his lonesome. He's choosing to run away, and you see he didn't trap himself in spawn. Smart move by Wildy. He's going to keep moving around, but with the sniper in the hands of Envy, it's only a matter of time before they use that sniper to get the boom shot. As you, you know. see Wildy moving around, he spots his 1v1 right there in front of him with the sniper out. He's trying to catch him slipping, doing a little bit of wall bounce. Move full red. Not able to connect with any of those shots, though. Wildy got some pretty movement right there. Uh, you know, but, you know, when Soto transitioned from the whole spot to the mid pillar to help Praise in that 2v1 against Secret, you almost expect Willie to kind of make a play right there, you know? That he should be making a play to, uh, you know, to, to help his team out. I don't know what he was doing, if he probably had to jam reload or something. Uh, but right here, on board with Secret, 
And Secret's going to be playing secondary for his squad. They're down. This is going to be the final round here. Envious with the 12-0 sweep. It's going to come down to this. Secret's going to, Prison's going to get it down right there in the jail. Praise goes down. Franchise gets it down as well. He's going to revive his teammate, but they pushed off a mid pillar. That guy needs to make sure he gets back. And they're going to clean up that kill on Franchise. This is turned into a 3v3 situation. Inertia making plays on Soto. Toy goes down as well. And it's going to come down into a 1v3. All up to Praise. And he's going to die to Inertia right there. Orbit finally showing some life here on Clock Tower. Just like you said before, a little bit. this could be a momentum shift, or this could be an, another example of starting too late here in these maps. Is they're already down two to nothing, and then a three-one uh, round count lead. So we're gonna jump on board Secret again. Let's see if he can put Orbit in a good position, just like he did last round, along with Prison. Yeah. As he's pushing up towards that secondary, you see a little bit of a preactive coming out, going wide right away, trying to get damage on that back pillar. Full red himself, as it looks like Envy. On the other side did a 2-2. They're choosing to grab nades, giving up snipe and top control. And this is where you should see Orbit rotate to the snipe for boom shot. Their rotation is a little bit slower than Envy's rotation, though. And Craze with a double nade kill to suck away all hope away from Orbit. And Wildy's going to go down. 1v3 situation. All up to Prison. And Prison's taking shot from it. shots from everywhere. He's going to side roll. And Fran's going to shut him down right there. I really thought Orbit was going to put up more of a fight than that. That seemed like all envious all day. Mm -hmm. As you saw, Orbit grabbed the sniper, and it looked like they were going to back out for boom, but I think they already had somebody positioned running to the boom, so that maybe they didn't think they were going to have to back up for it. But with grenades, you can't just you can't stay up there. Yeah. I, and, and my thing is with the Orbit roster, uh, you know, man, you know, so many intelligent players. You got Wildy. You got Prison. Uh, you know... These guys should, these rotations should be quick. These counter scratch should be quick. You know what I'm saying? You, you've been here. You've done this. You guys have been champions, you know? Uh, you guys should you know what it takes. And if you guys, you know, can't get together, so it's a bigger issue there. But with, without a doubt, though, they've shown us such intense matchups throughout the entire season. And that's going to be uh, Orbit's last match in the Pro League. So, guys, show them some love in chat. Hashtag Orbit. Hashtag your favorite player on the squad. Uh, give them some love out there uh, because they've definitely put, put, on, put on a show this season. Yep, and but with that win, Envy is obviously no matter what getting that number one seed. They got the momentum. You know they're gonna rewatch this in, in the team house. I've seen their setup. They have a projector. This Envious team has all the keys to success going into finals. Let's just see if they can prove it on the stage. And you know, as we've seen, you know, especially at the end of that last round, you saw a Toy Soldier with that superstar code that you can get in the season two bundles. And he was sliding away with that sniper right there. And folks, this is how he got it right there. You got the uh, the superstar code with that sexy uh, prism weapon skin. And all of this goes into, all, all the funding from this goes into uh, Gears Esports. Uh, and, and it helps the community and it's a great way to support it. And uh, But you, wait, there's more. We have a second Season 2 bundle featuring the Golden Hunter. My personal favorite, actually. Every time I turn around, bling bling is my motto when I use him. But you can also get that Prism Weapon skin if you don't already have it. And we saw Seeker rocking him in that last match. Uh, and yep, exactly like PR said, you can just get those weapon skins by themselves if you already just have the character. Uh, but, you know, I'm excited about something. And I think you all are excited about it as well. We have our fight of the night. You know, if you guys have loaded up your Gears of War, uh, you know, disc, you've seen it. You know, you've seen it all over Twitter. You've seen it this morning. You've seen it all week. The E6 versus DT matchup. Dream Team. Uh, and the winner of this... The winner of this matchup goes to our Season 2 Finals in that four spot. So this is for all the marbles. Guys, right now, this is the time to tweet about it. This is the time to tell your friends. Throw it up on the big screen. Get hype in chat. Okay, for the next five minutes, I want to see ET or D6. Who you want to win? Shout out to Jack Felling out there. PR, are you excited? I'm more than excited. I'm really good friends with every, almost every member on E6. And I have my own personal thing is it's hard to bet against excels yep. this man has shown up time and time again in numerous titles gears of war 2 gears of war 3 and we've seen him show up last season in gears of war ultimate edition so this man and i used to compare to him in, in gears of war 2 we saw wildebeest mm -hmm. i compare excels to wildebeest but i think excels is a is just a better version all right guys you heard pr's perspective right there we'll be right back with the fight of the night <laughs> 